instance and database configuration session 15 what i will cover in this session is uh, two statements or two tsql statements one is for instance configuration one is for database configuration therefore is going to be a quick session comparatively because i'll discuss the syntax and some options probably which you would already know so instance configuration and database configuration uh, recommended strategy is uh, same though i'm discussing the commands here but it's better to use the dialog box first because you can visualize that you can see the options with the description with the help everything and then once you are done you can generate the tsql that statement will generate the same command same statement which i'm discussing here so even if you fail to understand everything about this statement don't get disheartened you have the option available in the instance configuration so the syntax alter server configuration this is the statement we use so alter server configuration this is server level settings global setting global configuration settings for current server in microsoft sql server alter server configuration set option option name what options you can specify you can specify process affinity diagnostic log buffer pool extension soft numa memory optimized then we have a process affinity can take these values process, process affinity cpu can take two possible values like cpu range specification also cpu range specification can be any of these cpus so this is substitution how the values are substituted in the syntax so this is very generic syntax understand that then process affinity have these possible values in that here also we are substituting it is a hierarchical representation or substitution of values in the syntax how the values are used this is how you need to understand the syntax similarly diagnostic log the possible value for diagnostic logs are on or off or path max size max files or default then similarly buffer pool extension the possible values and then we have memory optimized these are possible similarly size specification size can be in kb mb or gb this appears complex when you start using for specific configuration parameter because you never execute the statement with all possible configuration in one go you work with one or two configuration at a time generally because you go into steps you change some value you observe the setting you verify the setting you move on to the next setting you go step by step therefore it's not difficult to understand now process affinity suppose you have uh, 100 processes on the machine and you want to allocate only 20 processes processors i'm talking about processors not processes you have 100 processors in your system and out of 100 you want to uh, assign uh, 20 dedicated to sql server or 10 dedicated to sql server or uh, 90 or 80 depending on your availability and your your resource planning this affinity helps you do that so it enables hardware threads to be executed by the cpu on the processor so to be associated with cpus like per thread how many threads uh, are like per per cpu how many threads will be associated so this affinity will tell you that affinity is for that so cp equal to best value is best possible option is auto otherwise you can specify the range it distributes sql server worker threads to each cpu within specified range sql server worker threads sql server worker threads uh, to each cpu within the specified range cpu outside of uh, specified range won't have assigned threads means you assign first 0 to 10 uh, cpus and you assign the thread to them so outside this range no cpu will be assigned this is uh, not the right approach i right approach is auto it is specified when no specified that no thread is assigned to any cpu the operating system can freely move threads 
among CPUs based on the server workload and this setting is default and it is recommended setting. CPU range, what is to be specified here? CPU range, the range can be specified range can be specify the CPU range or CPUs to assign threads to CPU ID or CPU ID to CPU ID mean individual value, discrete value or range values and you can specify multiple ranges. It is a list of one or more CPUs, CPU IDs begin with zero, begin at zero and are integer values. Look CPU ID, CPU number one from zero to ten or from zero to nine. So the range is specified like this. Then diagnostic log option, it starts or stop logging diagnostic data. That's CPL uh, SP server diagnostics. This is stored procedure, that procedure captures path where it will be logged. Operating system file path or default value is to be used. Max size, you specify the size in MB or default value can be used. That is maximum size in megabytes to which each diagnostic log can grow. The default is 100 MB. Similarly, buffer pool extension. We had a comprehensive session only on buffer pool extension. So we have possible values on the file name that is OS file path and name. That size in KB, MB or GB and then off. Memory optimized. It enables all instance level features that are part of in-memory database feature family. That is memory optimized on or off. Off means disable all instance level features that are part of in-memory database in, uh, feature family. Temp DB metadata on or off. These are instance level settings, server level settings. We are configuring uh, through the TSQL statement. All these options, whatever we discussed, require a restart to take effect. Limitations and restrictions. This statement does not support DDL triggers. You cannot put this into triggers. Alter settings permission is required for process affinity option. And alter settings and view server state permissions for the diagnostic log and failover cluster property options. Control server permission for HADR cluster context option and alter server state permission for buffer pool extension option. Some special permissions needs to be granted to the user who is changing these permissions, who is using server level configuration, quite natural. Example, this is what I was trying to convey team that you never use the whole statement with a whole bunch of options in one go. You do one session at a time, one parameter at a time, one configuration at a time. Alter server configuration, for example, set diagnostic log on. So this is one setting we are changing. Similarly, set diagnostic log off, set memory optimized on, set memory optimized temp db metadata equal to uh, uh, on and resource pool is pool name, whatever you specify. So this is, these are a few examples for changing the configuration parameters for the server. Similarly, returning configuration buffer pool extension information, you can use select path, file ID, state, state description, current size in KB from sys dbms os buffer pool extension configuration. This is where your information is available from where you can capture the information. So to view server properties using server property option also you can specify like convert sys name server property server name. So it will give you this. In fact you remember this after immediately after installation when you installed uh, SQL Server 2019, you use server property to verify the installation, addition, version, and uh, the details, other details. View server property by using sys servers catalog view. Use adventure works 2019. This is wrong. This is old version. Select name, server ID, provider from sys dot servers. This can also be used. In fact, when you select you select a star, you'll get all the headings, what all possible information is stored. I repeat, there is no separate lab for this session. 
please practice all these commands directly on the system. Similarly, what we have is next part is database scoped configuration. Alter database scoped configuration, this command we are going to talk about enable server uh, several database configuration settings at individual database level. So where the dialog box is, right click on the database name for which you want to change and then go to properties. And there, uh, whatever you do when you generate the script, that generate, generated script will be in this syntax only. Clear procedure cache. Set the query optimized cardinality estimated model independent of database to compatibility level. Enable or disable parameter sniffing at database level. Alter database scope configuration. Enable or disable query optimization hotfixes at the database level. Enable or disable identity cache at the database level. Enable or disable collection of execution status uh, for natively compiled TSQL model. So, quite simple, I'm referring to the same dialog box where you have uh, check boxes, true, false, enable, disable the values. You can also enable, disable intelligent query processing features, enable or disable accelerated plan forcing, enable, disable auto draw functionality. It's better you uh, see them directly and uh, for which you are already aware of the dialog box and you verify all these features. However, the syntax, the TSQL statement for the same is when you generate SQL is alter database scoped configuration for secondary set set options. What all set options are possible? These are the set options possible. Clear procedure cache, plan handle, and set set options. So set options are this max, DOP, value, primary, legacy, cardinality, estimate, on, off. So these are possible parameters. There's all of a lot of them actually. And these are coming from directly from the dialog box which I'm referring to. What permissions you require? It require alter any database scoped configuration on the database. This permission can be granted by user with control permission on a database. General remark, database scoped configuration settings will be carried over the database, which means that when a given database is restored or attached, the existing configuration settings remain. Starting SQL Server 2019, some options names have changed. Database in interleaved execution TVF is changed to interleaved execution TVF. This name is changed to this. This name is changed to this. So these names changings are there in SQL Server 2019. Granting permission. Grant alter any database scoped configuration to this so that this user Joe can change the database scoped configuration. Similarly, alter database scope configuration, set query optimization, hotfixes on, then uh, alter database scope configuration, clear procedure cache. These are simple examples of uh, database scoped configuration parameters. Thank you so much. Let's continue with the demo. I'm starting the management studio now. Yes, team. So first, let's look at the instance level settings. I was talking about these settings. First, general categories of settings platform this cannot these are readable only memory specific settings for example i'm changing this memory minimum server memory and i'm assigning 204822gb then maximum server memory then other memory options index creation and mem uh, minimum memory per query i'm giving 500 mb processes all processes, this is process affinity, what we were referring to. Enable process affinity. Uh, so instead of select all, you select uh, NUMA CPU number one, you enable. Come on, enable it, no? So probably it's not enabled. Let me select this. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is how we identify them. Silly mistakes. 
I have already selected automatically. So where do I select that? Then <laughs> makes sense. So now I can select, right? What all processes I want to assign. I can select the CPU numbers. So there's a five examples I'm selecting. CPU five. In fact, do I have five CPU on this machine? I have 16 CPUs, and you will be able to 12 CPUs. So sorry, from zero to 12. On this machine, I have 12 CPUs. This is my physical machine. So from physical machine, I can give four CPUs to the SQL Server part, and I'm okay with it. Security, Windows authentication, failed login only, login auditing successfully, logged in or failed login only. So I'm selecting successful login only or failed login only. Enable common common optimize. We are going to discuss this by the way. Cross database ownership chaining then connections maximum number of connections i am changing this so that i can show you the syntax actually to be honest then database settings default index fill factor so after these settings and this is what i was referring to yesterday backup default directory so this should always be different on a physical separate physical disk log also should always be different on a different physical disk Right now, in my case, everything is here. Data, log, and backup. All are going to same directory except the backup. Backup is in, a, in the backup directory. A slight difference here. But they are on the same physical disk ultimately, which is never recommended. After these settings, after going through these settings, uh, like for example, boost equal server priority, I can change it to true. I'm just changing all the values so that uh, we can just have a look at that. Uh, similarly, we have uh, allow triggers to fire that's okay file stream containment parallel fine let's generate the script now script action to next another query window and you will see these options whatever i have changed you can see uh, it is using alter server configuration and for some examples it is using sp configure concept is same if you remember, we discussed two options. Either we can do through server configuration, uh, alter server configuration, or we can use SP underscore configure stored procedure. This is a backward compatible old uh, beginner's uh, tool. Right from beginning, we have been using uh, stored procedure SQL configure. You specify the parameter and then uh, additional attributes required for that uh, input parameter required by the stored procedure. So this is how I was trying to refer that you can change parameters, uh, configuration instance level parameters and generate the script for that and keep it handy so that when you have to change uh, some settings, you can simply look at them and change in place and then execute it directly rather than going through the dialog box. Now coming to the database. So on database level, right click, go to properties and uh, here also we have some database level properties for example options particularly uh, look at the statistics update statistics automatically true similarly uh, other options also statistics related options then uh, cursor miscellaneous recovery service broker all these parameters when you change they will be server level oh sorry database level for this particular database so this configuration parameters for be for this specific database. So change the settings, generate the script, or use the statement, the SQL statement discuss.